All right, all right. Let the church say amen. Hope everybody's doing well as I thank the Lord for another beautiful, blessed morning. Giving a great shout out to the beautiful YouTube family. Um, Taisha, good question. You see the title up there. You can't turn a hoe into a housewife. What is my opinion on that? And according to scriptures, is it anything in the Bible? Well, it's a whole lot in the Bible. <laughs> and there is nothing we are going through that's not already happened pretty much in the Bible. And first of all, much respect to all women. Not doing this video to make no woman mad, but to answer the question. And to get on us, fellas, in so many ways, because so many women being called hoes and bitches. Now, we know everybody act a certain way. But how did Christ, that's the question, how did Christ look at sinful women? Now, your question, can you turn a hoe into a housewife? This make me go back to Rahab. I'm going back to the Old Testament for a minute because Rahab was known as the harlot, prostitute, a woman who do sexual things with her body to receive money. And we already know the story on that. So to make the video a little bit shorter, we know how Rahab and her family were saved and the faith that Rahab had, how Rahab went against her own. And by her being obedient in her faith. If you fast forward to the New Testament, I believe it's in Matthew, you will see Rahab, huh, I want to say Rahab, uh, give me right, Holy Ghost. Rahab was the mother of Boaz, if I'm not mistaken. And she married somebody up in there. Uh, I'll come back with those scriptures. But to answer your question, well, if we was to pop the question right now and say, how many preachers' wives used to be hoes? How many preachers used to be gangsters? How many thugs have converted over to follow with Christ? See, here's the thing. All of us got a pass. Now, some people want to make their pass look like it's better than somebody else's. So Rahab pass was prostitute. And I always like to say she must have been real good at what she did. Because if you really think about it, Rahab was balling. If you look at the crib that she had back then to be on the wall. And... A lot of women are good with what they do. A lot of men are good with what they do. Because when you talk about horn around, you got male hoes as well. You got men out here doing the same thing. But not to jump off and all that. Can you turn a hoe into a housewife? Can you turn a sinner into a, a believer? That's the question. Because if that's the, I mean, if you look at it, like I say, don't none of us, none of us have walked on water. And we got so many men dogging women. So many women dogging men. That, like I say, it's no respect. It's just a little real talk video. Yes, I believe people can change. But the problem is, you got people trying to do the changing. We don't do the changing. Only God can change a person. God created them and only God can change them. Now, you can try. You'll waste your lifetime trying to change a woman, fellas. All women, you're going to waste your lifetime trying to change a man because the thing is, you're going to either accept somebody for who they are or you're going to remain single. And you have to get it in your mind that there's something wrong with everybody. You might straighten up in one area, then you still got something wrong with you. Just like, like a person that get off of shooting dope. They next habit is smoking cigarettes. So back to get on subject, yes, but you got to want that change. Can you change a hoe into a housewife? You can't, but God can. And Rahab is a, is a great example. And when Jesus delivered or changed somebody, it wasn't no going back to what they used to be. See, nowadays, we the ones that make it look like, oh, we serve a weak God. Because we got people walking around talking about they delivered, they born again. They knew a new creature in Christ, but they still the same old backstab, but they still the same liar. They still the same cheater. They still the same homosexual. They still the same lesbian or whatever your problem was. 
And you got to quit trying to make God look like he a lie. Because he will make you look like the lie. And that's why you always hear me say, we don't serve no weak God. Let me tell you something. This is what I love too. That this is what lifts this is what lift up my spirit. Because what you're speaking of, I've known too many women now that have changed. They'll tell you, oh, yeah, they used to be me. I was the biggest hoe of the neighborhood, the community. I ran so many men, but they changed. And they haven't went back. And one of them is on camera. If y'all know what I'm talking about, I won't reveal her name. But she is on this page. And she will tell you in your face how she used to be. Matter of fact, she don't even have to tell you because everybody already knew her. And she, she'll she tell you, I was just like Rahab. But now she done moved on from that. And once you convert over, see, this question is easy for me to answer because Paul thought what he was doing was right. He was a persecutor of the Christians, killed up many of them, put a whole lot of them in prison, persecuted them. But once he got locked down at Damascus Road, did Paul go back to doing what he used to do? No. So the point is, whatever your sin is, can't you turn a hoe into a housewife? You can't, but God can. I know a lot of women that's married now, and they just laugh on what they used to be. I know people that don't believe, that didn't believe in God, believing in God now. And they not have once back stepped back to what they used to be because they have seen the light. So I know somebody might not agree with this video because I've been hearing this saying all my life. It's just how I look at that. I look at the scripture. I look at the sinful woman in the Bible. I look at the woman at the well. Who, I mean, there's so many examples in the Bible. The woman had those husbands. And Jesus told her, the one you with, not even yours, she told the truth. He didn't condemn that woman, but yet he wanted to show her about salvation. And by that, by him not condemning, look at how many people that woman was, that Samaritan woman was, was able to go back and tell. How many people got reached after that? See, we spend so much time, oh, she's a sinner. Oh, he's a thug. He's a gangster. He can't change. Well, they ain't changing on your time because I got a news flash for you before I end this video. Those three surprises in heaven. You'll be shocked at who you see, shocked at who you don't see, and you'll be shocked you made it in. Don't be surprised if somebody you think wouldn't make it in is sitting in your mansion and you didn't make it in. Peace.